Yo, what is going on guys? This is Black Eagle from Snake Beater, back with a brand new video. Today guys, we're going to be talking about advanced look controls. For beginners, I'm going to be explaining what is advanced look controls. I'm going to go through every single setting with you, and I'm going to give you the recommended setting you should have if you are just beginning to use these settings. Um, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, and please subscribe your notifications on. It really does help me and it helps grow the channel. Uh, guys, if you are watching this video and you have watched, say, someone's settings before, like a pro or just a player that's very good at the game, you should not be taking their settings okay the settings i'm going to give you today are basically baby steps so that that way you can start progressing your settings to how you want and the way that you like them you shouldn't copy other people's settings because everybody's hands are different you know we all have different muscle memory we all have different likes and sensitivity it is down to your personal preference so without further ado let's jump straight into the video so we're going to hold down start and we're going to go to settings I'm going to hit the uh, whatever button you use. I use RB there to get to my controller and head down here to advanced look controls. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to explain to you what the setting is as best as possible so you understand what the actual setting does. And then I'm going to give you the setting that I recommend you use. So let's talk about dead zone. Dead zone is essentially stopping your sticks from drifting. Uh, so, for example, if you have a slightly older controller, you might want to have a slight bit of drift on, uh, so, uh, dead zone, sorry, to stop drifting. So if you see if I turn it all the way off, as you can see, my stick has a world, a mind of its own. So what we're going to do, go back onto the settings. I use two clicks up. Boom. Nice and still. So makes it a lot easier for me. I don't have my uh, reticles, like, just going around the place, you know, it's pretty chill. Uh, next up, we have Outer Threshold. Now, I watch so many videos on people's settings and whatnot, just to see if anybody explain what this is, and hardly anyone had any explanation on it. Of course, we do have the description over here, but I'm not going to lie, it doesn't really explain it. From my understanding, it is very similar to the response curve. Uh, and as you can see, they recommend you only have one click. I'm going to turn it all the way off. Um, I reckon you should do the same. It doesn't make much of a difference. I feel like it's a pretty pointless setting, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Next up, we have the response curve. Now, the response curve is a big deal. Okay, I'm going to give you the exact definition that is given, not the one that says it written here. Okay, so the exact definition of response curve is the speed at which the game registers movement of your reticle in response to when you move the thumbstick and how long you keep it in that position. So essentially guys, if you have your settings on response curve turned up higher, it will feel quite heavy and dull. Whereas if you do have it quite low, it will maybe sometimes feel a bit twitchy. So we have gone roughly in the middle as I did find having it on the, the recommended setting, it felt quite heavy. Um, and then having it too low felt a little bit out of control. So what we have done here, guys, from the recommended, it is minus five. So as we see here, you go one, two, three, four, five. So minus five, two, three, four, five. Next up, per optic settings. Um, I'll explain what it is. If you turn it on, you can basically turn up and down your sensitivity per optics. Um, but we're not going to mess around with this because once again, we are beginners. We are not going to be playing around with this. There's enough settings we're going to be working with. So this is something that you should add on as you start to get more comfortable with your settings and your control. So leave that off for now. Next up is your speed. Your speed is essentially how quick you look left or right. So it's, it's literally as it says. Um, so we've turned that up slightly. We have gone six above the recommended here. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six up, please. Uh, next up, pitch speed. Um, very simple, just how quick you look up and down. We have got this slightly lower than yawn speed because turning left or right, you want to obviously look quicker. You don't have too many times where you need to look up very quickly or down very quickly. Most of the time, you do have to look left and right faster. So what we've done here is we turned it up slightly. Um, so it's actually in line with the recommended amount of yawn speed. Um, but what we're going to do is I'll give you the exact amount. So it is four clicks. So one, two, three, four. Four clicks up for me. Three, four. Next up, extra uh, turning, extra yawn. Uh, so this one here, okay, is... 
I'll give you the exact definition. Uh, once again, it's basically when you turn extra. So when you turn left and right, that is just your yaw. Whereas if you're looking at your extra yaw, basically it's when you do like a 360 or a 180, like when you go to an extra amount, like swim, uh, spin, spinning all the way around, okay? So I've actually turned this down because I find that if I'm trying to track somebody and they're moving quite quickly, and then I say, for example, turn, I might turn too fast and then I end up losing track of them. So I've actually turned it down slightly. Um, so what we've done here is a minus four. So I'll show you. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You might want to keep it the same as you prefer, but I did feel that this was not needed. You know, I turned it down a little bit. Um, we're not trick shots here, so we're not trying to do 360s. Uh, here, we have got the uh, turning extra pitch, uh, so how quickly you can look up and down if you want to look up to the full extent. Uh, we're not going to actually touch that at all. We're going to leave that on them. As I say, you don't really need to look up quickly. I mean, if someone goes on a jump tower, that's the only time you have to look up really quickly, and I guarantee they don't, they don't go that fast, so you'll be able to catch up with them. Uh, turning ramp up time. This is when the stick... Uh, when you put the stick to the edges, how quickly it will take to reach full speed. Uh, so we've actually turned this down because we do want to reach full speed a little bit quicker, but we don't want it too much because if you accidentally hit, say, your stick to the far left of the uh, controller, then you might speed off when you didn't mean to. So we have a little bit of time put on. Uh, so the exact amount is minus three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I don't know why that one goes slightly over, but it is minus three. Next up here is turning ramp up delay. Now this is uh, when the stick is at the edges, how much delay until extra your or pitch is applied. So this is all about the extra stuff. So these bad boys, uh, we're gonna turn that all the way off because we've already got, you know, you, you you have to hold it there anyway for a little bit for it even to kick in. So you don't need any delay. Leave that off. As you say, they even recommend you keep it off. So I don't even know why that's even in the settings, but it is. Next up, ADS your speed. Uh, so this is how quickly we look down the scope left to right. So when we are aiming, um, so we're going to actually turn this up slightly. I didn't turn it up too much. Some people have run this quite high, uh, but we need to still be in control. But I did find having it up slightly more was very helpful. So I have gone for two clicks up. So one, two, one, two. Okay, two clicks up. Um, that could be taken as three. Depends where it actually starts because, oh my Lord. One second. <laughs> All right, we're back. Okay, so. Where were we before we were rudely interrupted by this game that takes you up when you're doing settings? Um, so we were on, I believe, yeah, we were here, weren't we? Your speed. So we are going two up. So I was doing that from there. I think the setting might start from here, so it might be three up, okay? But I'm doing from there, so don't. two clicks up for me. Uh, next up here is ADS pitch speed. Okay, so this is how quickly we look up and down while aiming. Uh, so when you're in your scopes, uh, so we have turned this up a total of two clicks. So, so as you can see, it's uh, like one above the line or two, however you really want to think about it. As you can see, just slightly above it though. Okay, next up is ADS turning extra yaw. Uh, so once again, we are now looking at how quickly we can turn all the way around. If we were, say, for example, trying to do a 360 while scoped in, uh, we don't actually need this turned up too much like we do when we're hit firing. So we have turned it up a total of two clicks. So one, two. Uh, next up, ADS turning uh, extra pitch. So how quickly we look up and down, we just turn this up one. Okay, so next up, ADS turning ramp up time. Once again, uh, when the stick is to the edges, how quickly it will reach full speed while well, obviously aiming. Uh, so we have turned this down. Uh, once again, we don't want too much time. I mean, you could turn this all the way down. I have seen people do that with it all the way down, but I prefer just to have a little bit of time on there just because it does help when aiming, um, just in case, as I say, you do put it to the full extent and then you lose control. So we've gone minus six, I believe this is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus six for that. Next up then, ADS turning 
ramp up delay. Uh, so when the stick is at the edges, when aiming, how long it takes before extra yawn or pitch is applied. We're gonna get rid of a little bit of this. Obviously the last one we didn't have any delay. This one we're actually gonna leave a little bit delay on. Uh, so we are gonna take this down two clicks. One, two. And then last but not least is the target compensation and the melee target compensation. So target compensation is very simple. It is your aim assist. Uh, so this is your aim assist when you're looking down your gun. That's why they do not recommend you take it off because it is going to help you a lot. If you do want to become a better player, you could play with it off. But personally, I think you're a bit stupid to do that. So keep it on, guys. And then the melee uh, target compensation is on. Okay, same again. You're going to find it harder to punch someone if you don't have this on. Um, that is all the settings, guys. Okay, so that's everything I recommend. Give that a try and then get yourself into the training arena and start lasering the targets. Um, if you do enjoy this video, obviously make sure you hit the like button, comment down below and please subscribe. As I say guys, these are just recommended settings. What you can do is as you develop along the line, you'll be starting to think, right, actually I wanna have my turn speed a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna turn up my yawn, yeah, your speed um, and so on. So you can just kind of develop how you get on as you play. Um, but without further ado, as I say, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.